Don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart I just don't think it understand And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart It might blow up and kill this man Oh dear, Justin here I'm not sure I want to tell my 17 year old self I'm doing a lesson on that I think he would be most displeased this song came out when I was a teenager. I used to have to play it in pubs and stuff all the time, and I'm not a big fan. I mean, it's got some of the ropiest lyrics I've ever read. Just relearning them now. You can tell my arms to go back to the farm. <laughs> I mean, really. But um, if you've clicked on this, you probably like the song. So uh, don't mind me taking the mickey out of it a little bit. It is, a, I mean, it was a bona fide country classic pop hit. You know, it was a big, big song. And it's a great one to learn if you're just learning your A chord and your E chord. Is that the only two chords in the song? It's using a real classic country chord progression. It's kind of a little bit like Jambalaya, the Hank Williams kind of classic. Uh, it's it's a, a variation on that. The chord sequence here, we're going to have three bars of A, four bars of E, and then one bar of A again. So when you cycle that around and around, you do get four bars of A in a row. So it's almost like four bars of A, four bars of E. But you're much better off thinking of it as three bars of A, four bars of E and then one bar of A again because that'll put you in the right place with the melody and how the song's actually rolling along. So let me take you through that chord progression. So we're starting on the A, so we've got A, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E, two, three, and then to E, two, three, and E chord again, another bar of E, and one last bar of E and back to A. Don't tell my heart my achy breaky heart I just don't think it'd go to E, two, three, four And if you tell my heart My achy breaky heart It might blow up and kill this A So that's the sequence And it's that sequence all of the way through the whole tune So let's just take it through the verse as well So starting on the A chord You can tell the world You never was my girl You can burn my clothes up when I'm gone and you can tell your friends just what a fool I've been I laugh and joke about me on the phone Then the all-time classic You can tell my arms to go back to the farm You can tell my feet to hit the floor Or you can tell my lips to tell my fingertips They won't be reaching out for you no more You can see it's that same sequence all the way through now Obviously, playing it just one strum per bar starts to get a little bit samey after a little bit. So you probably want to try some other strumming patterns as well. But if you're a beginner and you're just learning your A and E chords, it's not a bad thing to be working on it like that, just doing the one strum per bar. Rhythm is generally the hardest thing after you've got used to making your chord changes. Okay, so chord changes right at the beginning are the hardest part. Fairly soon after that, the rhythm starts to become the hardest part. So if you're really new on the chords, just focus on that and get used to those chord changes, first of all. Now, if you are ready to do some other rhythms, the first step up along the line is doing two strums per bar. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Next one along, because it's kind of a country tune, and I don't think this is on the original one, but you can play the bass note on beat one and three and then a strum on two and four also sounds real good. So for the A chord, you'd play the fifth string and then a strum. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. And if you tell my heart, for the E chord, now you're playing on the thicker string. That's where the bass note, then back to the fifth string. Now I think the strumming pattern on the original recording is more like this. So one, two, and three, and four. 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 Don't break my heart. It ain't be breaking heart. Just don't think you understand. And if you break my heart, make you break the heart. Just don't have to be done. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. 
Okay, a tune like this, you can use almost any strumming pattern and it's going to work. It'll be a real fun kind of barbecue song. Definitely, for, even for people like me who aren't massive fans of the song, it would be kind of a fun tune, a fun barbecue pl play along. People would be groaning, oh, not this one, but a lot of people would probably have a bit of a laugh with it. I don't know if people still do line dancing to this kind of thing. That was big when I was in my late teens or whatever. That would be an interesting thing to see, a little house party, you grab out a guitar, rip into achy breaky heart and everyone jumps up and starts line dancing in the in the lounge room does that actually happen i don't know do people do that that would be really fun i'd like to go to a party where that happened one day that's just gone on my things to do before i die list i really hope you enjoyed this if you're a beginner and you're looking for some more songs there are loads on the website specifically arranged for beginners you can even select the songs by the chords that you know and that's a pretty handy thing. Or you can select them by where you are on my beginner's course. If you're struggling with any of the chords or the rhythm, you're not sure how to do something, do check out the link in the description. It'll take you over to the website. There's loads of help for beginner guitar players over there and more advanced guitar players too. So I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.